Is hello, how are you? Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> I am here today on this video to once again discuss candles. You want to talk about candles? Let's talk about candles because there's a couple brands, one primarily that I'm just like I'm just done with. I wouldn't say I'm disgusted. That is too much. It is so dramatic. <laughs> but I am. I'm just a little over it. And that particular candle brand is Boy Smells. I started off loving Boy Smells candles. They're a really cool camp company in general. They're based in California and they are very much about like unisex, unisex fragrances. And I'm all about a unisex fragrance. Um, they love, I guess, hybriding masculine and feminine notes together which I think is beautiful very me so you know originally I was like oh boy smell sounds really cool and they are pretty cool like their brand aesthetic in general is really cool if you like browse their Instagram I love how they like have like their promo shots and they're also like inspiration like carousels on Instagram I think it's like really really cool very modern not your Yankee Candle type of fan aesthetic and it's definitely I would say pretty much a luxury brand um their packaging is even I particularly feel is better than Dotique's even but the quality of their candles do not compare to candles that are in the same price range as theirs. They are a luxury brand per se, but I would say they're like mid-range luxury. Their candles aren't super expensive. You can definitely splurge on one, but they are expensive compared to like, say if you go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls for a candle. Like those candles are $16, not that great, but some of them are really good. You just have to be lucky with them. Anyways, <laughs> they are really known for having a really great throw and I'm gonna get into that too because some of them have a really great throw especially their earlier like candles but something's going on something's going on I feel behind the scenes when it comes to their manufacturing of their candles now and I'm happy to get into that one thing I do want would like to do with my channel and videos that I like to provide information on brands and items with is just just let people know before they buy them I feel like a lot of people including myself go to YouTube for reviews and want to see a review that is honest really gets down to the core of it and is for people that are like on the fence of purchasing something or you know being a part of something um, and just want to know more details about it. So I'm more than happy to provide that to the viewer out there who probably tuned in for this type of review. Letting you know, like, the honest truth and debunking any, like, mysteries about the candles or records or clothing or companies in general. So I'm here for that. <clears throat> So today we're going to talk about Boy Smells and we're going to talk about a couple other brands as well, but primarily Boy Smells. Their most famous candle, I feel, is probably Hinoki Phantom. They've actually done some hybrids of, I don't even know if you could say hybrids, but they've done some sisters to Hinoki Phantom. And I have a couple. I have Iris Phantom and I have The Phantom. The Phantom? And that's what's cool about some of their candles is that they, some of them are crazy in like a very artisanal, beautiful way. Like the Phantom, at first when I took it out of the package, I was like, this smells like something that you would like rub on like joints in order to like a Vicks Vapor Rub or something. It kind of gave me that at first. I was like, that's weird. So then I lit it and then I think some of the notes in it, one of the notes is tea like tea leaves smelled it it's amazing so that's the thing about um boy smells candles is that they have some really interesting notes that make the candle worthwhile but one of my pet peeves first of all let's get back to it one of their most famous candles is hinoki phantom i have hinoki phantom here let me take this off this is not from the candle um this is hinoki phantom this is the vessel that their standard candles come in. Their um, 
how do you say it? I guess it would be their core collection. Um, it is black tinted glass. Um, it has like a clear bottom, which I like. Um, and it's really good. Um, I've even put one of them that I was like done with and I was planning on reusing, took the wax out. Um, I put it in a dishwasher and even the sticker stayed on. Um, I really like it. I feel like it's really quality. This label also has some like debossed um, lettering, which is really nice. I don't know, you probably can't really see it in the camera, but um, it's really nice. Their labels have like the notes, like Hanoki Phantom has resin, Hanoki, cardamom, jasmine, moss, and guac. I hope I pronounced that right. And then they have them again in um, French. So it says scented candle consisting of a coconut and beeswax blend. Burn time is roughly 50 hours for this size for a net weight 8.5 ounce candle. This is their 8.5 ounce candle. Made in USA. And then it has the same in French. And then it says, you know, made in Pico UN Union, Los Angeles, California. And it has their website. And then it says voicemails. I think their candles are really good for gifting. Um, the core collection comes in this type of box which is really nice this one is one of my favorites this isn't well Hanoki Phantom originally I was not a big fan of <laughs> I'm I was like okay it's great and all but like but did it like really like I don't know I came to love it it just like really like grew on me I was just like wow this is really good especially when it's lit the throat is so strong which I love. It's so strong, but the scent doesn't give you like a headache or anything. And it's not like a raspberry or something like that. It's just really beautiful. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, Prunus is more floral. And this is the type of box that they come in the core collection, which there's so many scents in the core collection. Um, it has like basically a duplicate of the sticker here on here on the box and then it has like boy smells the boxes are so nice especially compared to like some um luxury candles um you'll see it has oh my god the scent is so good i this is one i haven't burned yet well i have back stock of some of my candles that i love so i haven't burned this particular one yet but oh my god it smells so good anyways has the directions for burning it um they're all about candle care and i'll tell you why later um, and this particular one has some bubble wrap inside, which is nice because I did have this shit. Um, I don't know if they always come like that. God, it smells so good. Ciao. Ooh, oh my God, my finger went into the wax. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let me try to get this off. So yeah, so you can see it's just like the Hanoki Phantom container. Um, my finger did go into the wax. That's gross. Um, this is their wick. Hopefully you can see. The thing about their wick and about their candles in general is that, oh, I totally messed up this one so I can clean it. All as well as in as well. The thing about their wax and their candles and their wick, well, the wax and their wicks, is that I feel one of the reasons their candles have such a vibrant throw. Now keep in mind, they have a good cold throw and a good hot throw. But one thing that I feel like definitely makes this candle throw even better than you would expect is I really honestly feel like they use thicker wicks than they should. The wicks in these candles um, are pretty thick for it to be an 8.5 ounce candle. I don't feel like it needs to be as wide as it is per se. And one reason I will definitely say that is because their candles mushroom so big. I try to always, um, you know, snip the wick of my candles before I burn them. It's very important to do that. It reduces soot. It reduces the candle from getting overly hot and it reduces like that really big flame. Candles are not supposed to have that really big flame. So it's really important to, you know, snip the wick, have the candle burn um, the entire top layer on its first burning and it won't, um, what's the word? It won't like well, tunnel. 
It won't tunnel. But I noticed that this one, even though I did that, still tunneled. A lot of our candles tunnel. They have lots of complaints about them tunneling. And when you reach out to their customer service, a your customer service can be good, but they do, or they're like, well, um, send us a photo, and then you send them a photo. I sent them a photo about something that I was having an issue with that I'll touch on later. Um, and they were like, oh, yeah, it looks like you didn't allow it to burn for, like, four hours. I was like, sis, yes, I did, actually. So, I mean, this particular one tunnels, um... But I just tend to let it do its thing. And if I notice that it's tunneling, um, I found these on Amazon in a total candle care package. It came with a wick cutter, it came with like um, a snuffer, and it came with two of these. So I will just put this on top. And what it does, it allows heat to, I guess, you know, more so get back up into those corners so that the wax melts more. So this is really handy. You can find them on Amazon. I'll try to link it below. Um, it's decorative also. I really like it. It's metal and you just put it on top of a candle, pretty much almost any candle. And of course, that isn't bigger than it is. <laughs> and it'll like, you know, allow the wax on the side to like melt down. I have this on top of this and it's still tunneled a little bit which will be fine um but that's one of the one thing that people don't like about their candles is that they tunnel and the wicks shroom and get so like the flame can get so big where it's just like it looks like it's just danger danger like <laughs> like i even had a friend who allowed theirs to like you know burn to like here you know you're not supposed to let it burn too low but of course you want to use up all the wax of your expensive candle and you know they let it go that far and then all of a sudden this thick glass crack because the wick gets i mean yeah the wick and the heat the flame gets so big and hot so that's one thing about their candles that i just don't like it like just the fumes and the soot from that shrooming i call it shrooming of the wick just it's so irritating Another thing about their candles is that they used to be, let me see, I got this one for $32.99 from one of my favorite indie stores, Friends, New York City. Um, they used to be $32.99 for the 8.8, .8, well, for the 8-ounce candle, the standard size. I think they've raised the price of their core collection to, like, $37 now. Um, so that's another thing that I'm just like, girl, why? Like, I understand everything's going up now, but, like... Your candles are selling well, like, I don't know. Because they also have, they also have, like, limited edition ones. And those ones, well, not particularly limited edition. I guess it would be, like, the more, like, special level ones. Um, like, they have these ones, which is from the Hyper Nature Collection. And they come in these really beautiful jars. I believe there's four different fragrances for this. There's Neopash, Rhubarb Smoke, and there's two more forgot the name of that but <laughs> but they come in these beautiful like jars that are just so amazing like this vessel is beautiful and it's also silver on the inside clearly i've burned this one a lot um it's really pretty and these one i believe were 39 and now i think they're like 44 um so they've definitely raised their prices pretty high um but i mean i know everyone's all companies are going through it right now but i intend to catch these on sale i love a sale like friends nyc they tend to have 20 percent off sales which includes the boy smells candles um that's usually where i get them nordstrom also has great sales um with boy smells it all started with my friend um my friend Giovanni and my friend Macy had mentioned Boy Smells Candles to me before and I had heard about them and I was just like, oh my god, I definitely want to try the candles. 
and because I love their notes like one of their most famous other candles are Kush they have like a Kush line of candles that are really good and so my first one that I tried was a small size of the purple Kush which is, was originally like a Nordstrom exclusive I believe the purple Kush this one's petal but the purple Kush is really amazing I burnt it and I was like wow this smells so good so you can get the smaller sizes this one is petal which is so good and floral but dark their scents are so complex and great um so you can definitely get the smaller size i believe they went from 18 to 20 now which isn't too bad because these burn pretty long time which is good um uh, and it definitely allows you to try out a lot of the scents so i would definitely suggest getting a small one to try um See if you like it. See if you don't have the same issues that I'm having with them. I have so many Boy Smalls candles also. So that's another reason why I'm like, okay, I'm going to stop buying Boy Smalls for the future. Let's just say I'm going to stop buying them for, for the future. The prices have gone up to 44 um, I have this big one of Purple Kush. This is another candle that I bought when I moved to my new apartment. Um... I love it. This is their big size um, of their candle. These originally were, oh, I hate talking about prices sometimes, but these originally were like 70 something. I definitely got a discount on this. I think I used like a Nordstrom note also. Um, and these are really great. They're the three wick, if you can see. And they're really great. Like just the purple Kush is one of my favorites. It's cannabis violet, vetiver, cannabis flower, and suede. They don't really smell like weed, so when it says kush, I wouldn't say it smells like weed. But it does have that really good green, like leafy, oh, it's just beautiful. And a lot of their candles are mixed with like suede notes, so it's very like, it's really comfortable. I love it. Like cowboy kush is another one that I love. Yeah, I have that one up here. And then the kush ones have different color labels than like the standard, um, the standard ones. Let me try to show you. So yeah, like the labels are a different color, as you can see. <laughs> so yeah, um, like the Hinoki Phantom is the standard pink. That's their core collection. And then the Kush ones, like the Cowboy Kush has the brown. Um, and then the Purple Kush, of course, has like the purple, like lilac color label. So yeah. Um, they also do a holiday collection, and that's the one I was so disappointed in, y'all. Um, okay, one. They did a holiday collection, and one of them was Broken Rosary, and that was the one that I bought. It came in a red container, very beautiful, and I was like, ooh, Broken Rosary, that sounds so scandalous, love it. I'm pretty sure this is going to smell amazing. Um, so it was definitely a blind buy, and I got it, and it was so subtle. It was not what I expected of Boy Smells. So that's another thing with their newer candles that you have to be aware of. The core collection, I feel, is pretty well-performing and amazing because I have like some of the other core collection ones like Prunus, Petal, etc. And those burn really well smell-wise. Of course, the wick is still an issue with all of their candles, in my opinion. Um, but Broken Rosary, I could not smell it at all. I was like, what? why did I waste money on this? <sighs> And like with the limited edition candles, they are a little pricier than the core collection. So I emailed customer service and was like, hey, did I get a candle that's possibly defective? Because I don't smell it. Then they went into this whole rant about candle care, sent them a photo of the wax and the wig, and they were like, oh yeah, candle care. And I was like, girl, I totally snipped the wig, I totally burned it for like multiple hours, and I still don't smell anything. So they were like, okay, how about we send you a Hanoki Phantom? So they sent me a Hanoki Phantom, um, and of course, that one is tried and true, amazing throw. So that was a whole thing. But like, Broken Rosary ain't smelled nothing. Like, I could not smell anything. So I don't know if I got a defective one, but then I tried, because they went on sale for like 20 something dollars. So you have to catch them on sale, it's amazing. Anyways, they went on sale, so I got another um, from the Holiday Collection, which is the Figure, Figura whatever um fragrance which i love fig notes i feel like they're really good like this one has fig leaves black pepper lavender cover bomb pepper wood and fir balsam and i was like yes ma'am comes in the green container which is so cool with this like metallic label so good i feel like their packaging is really beautiful and great for gifting um but if you look this wick look how that 
wig got it bent over, it shroomed. I'm just like, y'all can do better with these wigs. Something is not right. But it smells really good. It definitely still does not have a great throw as their core collection. And it's just like, if you're going to be a candle, you know, brand, because they also make, listen, you're going to be a fragrance brand because they also do perfumes and they also do underwear also, which is so interesting. But <laughs> I was just like, if you're going to be a fragrance line and your core collection is amazing, you need to make sure that your limited edition and your special ones are just as amazing. So I just did not understand that with this. And I also tried recently Denims because it was also on sale. And the packaging for that holiday collection is amazing. So <clears throat> as you can see, um, Boyce Mose is the embossed on the label. It also has the sticker, but it's metallic, which is beautiful. Then on each side... I feel like this is their logo for sure. It's not anywhere on the core collection packaging, but I think it was like a newly invented thing that they started. And um, even the ingredients and everything on the bottom are gold. And it's really beautiful. It's a slip case, slip case, which is so cool. And then, you know, they have this really cool, like almost like oil slick pattern. And then you open up the candle and it's inside. And this is the, the, the Nems one. I have burnt this one. And it smells good. The Nems, the Nems, I don't know. But anyways, this one is almond, eucalyptus, rhubarb, violet, ambergris, blueberry, and juniper. And see, that's what I like about their candles, that they have such complex notes and mixing. Really beautiful. This one burnt really well. That wick is awful. Look at that wick. It's crazy. So yeah, like, regardless, I always snip my wicks, but they always, with the Boy Smalls candles, like, just bloom into these shrooms. And I'm just like, Ugh, it's so annoying. So Boy Smalls is great to try. I would say stick to their core collection. Stick to their core collection. Hinoki Phantom is a journey to try for sure. Prunus and the entire Kush line. Depending on, Kush line has something for everyone. I love Cowboy Kush, Purple Kush, and the original Kush. Um, I'm not going to try, I think it was Italian Kush or something. It has like notes of, um, I don't know, it's too food based. I don't like food based notes. Sorry. It's like got, um, God, what's that? Oregano or something in it. I'm like, I don't want oregano smelling candle. Just make me some spaghetti or something. But <laughs> like, I don't like candles that smell like food. Um, so yeah, I definitely would suggest trying their core collection, but you don't need to try every candle that they make. You don't. Um, their core collection and the Hyper Nature collection will definitely make you happy with spending your money, but the candles do bloom and shroom, and I'm not in for that. I hate seeing a huge flame in my candle. I hate the soot that comes from it. You can like visually see soot coming from it. I'm like, oh, cut that out. This ain't no fireplace. Um, so yeah, definitely try them out, but be aware of the candle wick and it getting too hot and it tunneling. Very important um, if you love a candle. And yeah, definitely try to catch them on sale because them prices have gotten high. So <laughs> that's my wrap up with um, Boy Smalls. I absolutely love them, but I'm not going to buy any more anytime soon. I have enough and I need them to improve their wicks. I need them like as a company to be like, hey y'all, we've heard your feedback. We have improved our wicks. We know our candles are $40 now. Now with improved wicks. So I'm like, yeah, she can still have that great throw, but we don't need no flame that big up in the candle. Thank you. So <laughs> another brand that I'm done with at this point. Yeah, I'm done with them. Um, is Otherland. Otherland is really great. Um, they're a woman-owned brand, which is amazing. Love a female-owned brand. Um, they do beautiful packaging. Um, beautiful packaging. Really beautiful. And you get to choose between, if you buy directly from them, you get to choose between like the eco packaging, which is a little bit uh, more simple, or you get to choose from like the deluxe packaging. Their candles are usually, I believe, like 39. I tend to find them sometimes on sale, um, but you can also build packs where you save, like you buy three and you save on the total of them. Um, I found their garden collection on sale at Nordstrom, which was their most recent 
recent um, collection, and I got these ones for like 20 each, and I was just like, oh, sweet, um, because I definitely wanted to try them. Um, yeah, um, they're really pretty. Look at these, they're beautiful. I love the vessel. I love the graphics. Um, unlike, unlike Boy Smells, they do come with a cover. Boy Smells does not come with a cover. The cover you cannot use, because I know a lot of times people, including myself, like to use the cover to put out the candle. You cannot do that with this cover um, because it is cardboard. But the cover does have like Otherland and then it has the notes, which is really cool. And you can just like use it for like, you know, keeping dust out of it. Um, this one smells beautiful. I like to keep it in my bathroom because it goes with like the bathroom's color and aesthetic. This one is okay. I expected more from this one. It's subtle. Another thing I don't like about their candles is that a lot of them smell very powdery. From the ones that I've bought um, that are not my favorites, which I'll go into in a second. When you burn them, they smell really powdery. And I'm not into that. Like this collection was supposed to be very floral. This one is out of the blue, I believe it's high incense. Um, and this one is ultraviolet, which of course is like jasmine tea, purple violet, and raw lavender. Um, but th they both smell really powdery when you burn them. This one lasts, this one is really pretty, but still has that like powdery smell. This one, Smells like powder. Um, and the wick, look how nasty that got. And I definitely snipped that wick before I burnt it. It like bloomed and turned over. And I was just like, oh, come on with these wicks. Cause I've definitely had candles that I burned and the wicks do not get this bad. And how much can a premium wick be? You're selling these candles for like $40, I think the original prices are, and the wicks are awful. And that's like one of the most important part of the candle chemistry is the wick. So I, ugh, I don't know, I'm not a fan anymore. And I hate saying that because I love the packaging and I love how complex they can get with the scents. Like last year they did this collection, which was amazing. This collection was weird. I was obsessed. One, the color of the vessels are so good. And then they have this very like Memphis group kind of inspired like graphics. This one was from, I believe it was from 2020, this collection. It was um, their summer collection. This one was called Freshwater Pearl. Um, the notes are sea crystal, salt water, and crushed set shells. Like this collection was very experimental, which I appreciate in um, a candle company doing like experimental scents. And it smells great. Oh, it smells so good. And this wig, when it bloomed and shroomed, it didn't bloom and shroom terribly, as you can see. It's not crazy. It smells really fresh and beautiful, and it definitely has a throw. Um, this one was ugh, my favorite. It's so freaking weird. This one's match point. This one is inspired by tennis courts and tennis balls, which is what? I love getting a candle that's just like weird. Like, I love an inspired, like, conceptual thing. Conceptual like artwork conceptual pieces are amazing so if i can find that in a candle i'm like yes queen let me try her um so yeah this one's called match point the container was so cool had a little gold label um it says find your fire like they really go all out with the packaging i love how this opens and it says burn and learn our tips for candle burning perfection to reduce suiting always trim wick to one fourth inch prior to lighting do not burn candle for more than four hours at a time discontinue burning when a half inch of wax remains um the packaging is amazing and then it even has a like a warning on the inside the inside's green very very cool um love this packaging. I've been trying not to burn this candle too much for the simple fact that I want to like, because it was a limited edition and they don't have any more listed on their website, but I, it's so, it's so good. Definitely a summer set. Oh, I love it. It's got notes of, um, I think grass. Yeah. Tennis ball, cut grass and cucumber. You can definitely smell the cucumber tennis. You can smell all of it. I <laughs> love this candle. So I'm 
I've been keeping this one like in its box and burning it when I'm like stressed or something. I was like, I need it. I need something weird. Um, so yeah, other than no, I am like I said, these ones are from 2020. They smell great. The garden collection, I can do, I can do without it. Um, they also had, I believe, one that I got was Sacred Dusk. Oh, the container was so good. I kept the container. I keep little things in it. Um, that one underperformed for me as well. I just didn't smell anything from that candle unless I got my nose right up in it, and I was very disappointed with that. But the vessel alone was really pretty, so I kept the vessel. Um, and I feel like for the price point, you're paying for, like, the vessel and the containers at this point because the wax just does not have a great throw to me of their newer candles. Candles. So that's how I feel about Otherland. I really wish they can approve. And again, I'm not slamming these brands. I just want them to improve. And I want, you know, consumers to know and people who might be viewing this video and looking for feedback to just know, like, what they're getting themselves into before they blind buy a $40 candle. So I'm here to help. And I also, like, you know, if the brand happens to come across this video, which they probably won't, I just want them to have some really good feedback that, like, yes, I am a person that loves candles, have loved them for most of my life, and I want them to improve like I have good points about these candles and I have bad points and I just want them to be heard <laughs> hear me out another one that I'm going to finish with with this video is apothecary apothecary is I don't even I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it apothecary 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 um <laughs> but I'm gonna say apothecary this one is white vetiver their vessels are beautiful this is like iridescent this was from a limited edition collection where they had the diffuser which I small I swear that diffuser that I have has no scent at all I flip those reeds and I don't smell anything I smell it when I get my nose up into the canister which I was very disappointed about but the candle smells are pretty good but I don't need apothecary they raise their prices too I think all these companies that I'm talking about actually raised their prices. Dare candles used to be like 30 something dollars and now I think they're like 46. If I'm wrong, I'll put the notes here. But yeah, they raised them pretty dramatically, especially from where you're getting. Their most famous one, I believe, is the black one with the black wax. And that one is, it's not bamboo, which smells really good. Oh, charcoal. That was charcoal, and that was good. That one has a really good throw, in my opinion. But I just don't feel with the price rise, price rise, price increase, that they're worth it. Um, the vessels and some of them are really pretty. Like, I think they had another one that was a collaboration called Swimming in Rectangles. That one's really beautiful. But I just really wish they had a better throw, to be honest, for the price point. Girl, you need to smell that candle all throughout the house, not just in one bathroom or one, like, bedroom. Like, I need to smell that candle throughout the house. Yeah, like, this smells nice, but I don't need it. And you probably don't either. They definitely have the smaller ones, which I would definitely suggest trying um, to see if you like it. Even their smaller ones, I believe they're, like, two ounces, come in really nice vessels. Um, I have one here somewhere. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they come in really nice vessels. So you might as well try those. I believe they're $18. I believe they used to be 14 But, yeah, those are the brands that I'm just like, I'm done. Unless they, like, make a statement saying that they're trying to do better with the products that they're selling. Because that's so important. I just, I don't need them anymore. I'm sorry. I love them, but I don't need them anymore. Besides the ones that I have, because I will burn all of these candles. I have a back stock of candles, and I have to go through them, and I love that I have that. I am very fortunate for that, to have that, sorry. And I'm very blessed, and I thank the universe. But um, I don't feel like I need to waste my money on these brands anymore, especially with the price increase. So if you feel the same way or if you tried any of these candles and you have differing views, please let me know because I, I love hearing feedback, especially about like candles, plants, fashion, things like that. And that's what you're going to find on my videos is my opinion and um, my experience with these brands that I do love talking about um, because I do love these brands. One of the reasons why I spent my hard-earned money on them, but 
mm-hmm. I feel like as the year, like as the time has gone by, they have lacked in quality, but raised their prices. I don't like that. Don't appreciate it. So let me know how you feel in the comments, what your experience is. We'd love to hear it. And if you enjoyed this video and you felt like it was informational, definitely like and subscribe because I will be coming with more in the future. So okay, so I hope you guys have a great day or a great night. Whenever you're watching this video, just have a great time. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.